my father for the first time when I was 28 years old. When I had children, my children were going to know who their father was. Yeah. Chris Gardner was doing his best. We don't need two. We don't need one. Maybe next quarter. It's possible. But his best hey, wait. wasn't enough. Man, I got two questions for you. What do you do and how do you do it? I'm a stockbroker. Stockbroker. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna let you hang on to my car for the weekend, but I need it back for Monday. Feed the meter. <laughs> hey, welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment Project. I'm Natalie Manuel. And I'm Eve Gallison. We have a very exciting night. We are here at the premiere for Will Smith's new exciting movie called Pursuit of Happiness. You want something, go get it. Period. I'm his executive producer, I got the rights to the Chris Gardner story basically after seeing it on 2020 a couple years ago. I need the rent. I can't wait anymore. I need you out of here in the morning. You gotta trust me, all right? I trust you. Because I'm getting a better job. It, we beautifully shot San Francisco. It's an amazing city. It was a blast to shoot in. Um, and I mean, obviously the relationship with being a Glide what an amazing organization they are, the, the amount of homeless that they feed and having the first homeless hotel. So there's a direct connection with that. And I think in, in the film, we actually employed 300 homeless people as extras, employed them for a week, and some of them were able to get off the streets because of that and feel, and even more importantly, feel self-worth and dignity for the first time in a long time. How long does it take? It, but it took a, a personality like Chris Gardner to make it happen because it's about his life. And, and, and possible even death, but he overcame it. He has really been a person well determined to be somebody, and that's exactly what he's done. I mean, what's the most inspirational part about this movie to you, besides it being about your life? Well, you know what the cool thing for me is? It's about my life. The movie is not about me. It's about every parent, every father, every mother, whoever had to be the mother and the father, and it's about everyone who ever had a dream and wouldn't quit. So it's not about me, it's bigger than me. Let me see if I can find you an application for our internship. Did mom leave because of me? Mom left because of mom, and you didn't have anything to do with that. There's no salary. No, I was not aware of that. My circumstances have changed some. Dad, where are we going? I don't know. Last year, we had an intern score on 90% on the written exam. He wasn't chosen. It's not a simple pass-fail. You're not quitting on this yet, are you? Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Yeah. Not even me. All right? All right. I have seen the film, actually, and I think that the film is going to be an inspiration for not only dads. So I think it's an important film for men to see, and I don't think men get enough credit necessarily for their maternal instincts. And I think that, you know, what Chris is showing is sort of the softer side of men because women get portrayed as sort of being the nurturers always. And I think in today's age, it's particularly for young African-American young men, that this film is a really important movie for them to see, not only in terms of having a relationship with you know, a father figure, but also in terms of even without having a father of your own there to sort of set the path for you, that if you believe something that, you know, if you have the motivation yourself that you can achieve it and then you shouldn't let no one tell you that you cannot do anything that you put your heart to. I'm in a competitive internship at Dean Witter. He said you're smart. This is impossible. I can do it. No, you can't. No one can. How did you feel working with Will Smith? Uh, I had a wonderful, a huge luck to be called by Will Smith to make this movie. One day my, my, agent call, my agents called me and told me, you know, Will Smith knows your work. I, 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 up to then I only have done Italian movies, so this was going to be my first American movie. I was speechless, I couldn't believe it. Then I, I met him and I started working with him and I, he, he's a wonderful man. But even more than that, he's a, he has a huge talent and uh, he really left himself being completely directed by me. He really abandoned himself and uh, let me take out all the tools uh, that, that we are used to see on Will Smith's characters and he became somebody else. He became Chris Garner, 
who probably was the opposite of what pre, of, of what Will Smith is uh, usually performs in his movies. Hey guys, this is Natalie Manuel, and I just had a chance to interview Will Smith on his new movie, Pursuit of Happiness. Take a look. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Now, how was it working with your son on a daily basis? Yeah, you know that he, he's uh, he's special. You know, he he um, he understands human emotion. He understands uh, people's pain, and it, it's something that Jade and I we don't even have any idea how he knows it and how he does it. He's just he's a natural, and I, I'm a better actor for having worked with him. Okay. How was it filling the shoes of Chris Gardner? Was it, did you have space any challenges or was it okay? Well, you know, with, with, um, with Chris Gardner, anytime you, you have an opportunity to spend time with, with someone who has lived that journey, who has experienced that level of pain and mountains and, and valleys, it's like you're always going to be better for having at least cinematically walk those footsteps and I'm just forever indebted to Chris Gardner for sharing his experience with my family and now sharing it with the world. Thank you so much. Thank you. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. Starring the biggest movie star in the world. Wow. <laughs> That's how that feels. Wow. I can't put it any other way.